Praise the Lord. Let's bow down heads in prayers. Let's appreciate God for how he has been with us and how he has led us all through this program up to now and trusting that he's still with us and he will continue with us. Let's appreciate him for what we are learning for our righteousness, for our tomorrow, for our heaven. Thank you, Jesus, for you are good. You are wonderful. You are doing wonders in our life. We appreciate it, Lord Jesus. Receive our thanks, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Now we are treating the topic, reporting church operation statistics and finances. Reporting church operation statistics and finances. Now I want to talk first on remittance. I want to talk first on remittance because all chapters and units in Horimon do remittance. They do percentage remittance to headquarters. It varies. On the average, it's about 30%. Some are doing up to 50%. And we are saying now, why is this remittance important? Why do you have to send certain percentage of your tithe and offering to headquarters? It is to support the headquarters in the administration of the headquarters, to support headquarters, that's international headquarters, in its projects, for we have many projects. Apart from building projects, there are other projects that we embark upon, which are all geared towards soul winning, taking people to heaven, making life better for people. For missionary works, outreaches, evangelism, moving up and down. The international director just came from a missionary journey to Niger State. Later this new month, he will be going to Nyanya Zone. Later this new month, he will be traveling. Mommy will be going to America. He will be going to UK. Mommy will cross from America to UK. And this is how he has been moving from one place to the other. All these things cost money. All these things cost money. Money, answer rate, all things. So we need money. All the projects, the good news about the clinic you are hearing, it costs money. Vehicles, even as we are running this program, it costs money. I am emphasizing this so that you can understand that you really need to continue to support the work of the international headquarters. The man of God stands here, he preaches, and you know how he reverberates all through the world. How you yourself cherish the message. It comes to you. Yes, God is involved giving him the word, but there are other things involved in transmitting the message to you. Media equipment, many things are involved. Internet services, many things are involved. All these things cost money. So, we are encouraging. Don't think that you are doing God a favor. You are doing what is right and necessary as a child of God. Your little contributions add up provide a great, a huge amount of money to do this work. Even now, we cannot say we have arrived, but we thank God. New projects are coming. There are many land we have here that are undeveloped. So we need this money. Continue to support us. And the percentage allocated to chapters to give to headquarters, to units, to nations, to states, don't tamper with them. They are like tight. 
as a matter of fact, there are percentages from your tight intake, inflow. Don't tamper with them at all. Don't even attempt to do that. It will be a sin to do that. Because the mark of God is upon them. Let the money come as it has been earmarked. If you touch them, you are robbing God. And if you rob God, where is the prosperity? Obedience has his blessing. Bible says, if ye are willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. As you are obedient to this instruction, we are trusting because God is faithful to his word that you will yield, you will, you will reap abundantly and bountifully the fruit of your labor in Jesus' name. I also want to emphasize timeliness in remittance. It's important to remit your money in good time. Don't delay at all. Don't sit on the money. Don't defer. Don't hesitate. Because even before your money comes, obligations are waiting. Sometimes we incur huge debt here to keep projects going. So the earlier you send the money, the earlier we are able to settle our financial obligations. And the faster the project is able to. You may not understand how well your money is oiling the wheel of progress here. But we appreciate it. And we thank God for your life for it. We are encouraging you, please, don't relent. Tell somebody, don't relent. Say, don't relent. Continue to contribute. And God will help you in Jesus' name. Waver, sometimes there is need to grant waiver. Grant waiver for one reason or the other. Instead of you to remit the normal percentage that has been allocated to you, we may decide to waive it, but it has to be, you have to request for it. Maybe you have a project, or there is a financial need, or something, you have to write for it. But it is an exception rather than the rule. It's not something once you have a little challenge, the next thing is that, hey, headquarters, please waive my remittance for No. It's when you discover that you have tried your best and you're unable to, then you can refer to us and it can be to be taken to the international director and coordinators know that quite a number of them, they have benefited from this. Again, we are also aware that some units and chapters, they are young, they are newly established, or even though they may not be too young, but financially weak. Because maybe the number of people gathered there are not much, or the category of people there, there are not people that have much financial resources. So you see that inflow, there are some places that even to get contribution of 1,000 naira in unit meeting is difficult. So for such units, with the approval of the international director, you can seek exemption to give them holiday remittance holiday for a period of time so that you don't stifle their growth because they also incur some expenses to run their meeting maybe in buying data maybe fueling generator so that they can meet their operational expenses so let's bear this in mind then we are saying also chapters and units cannot unilaterally on their own deep money into the percentage that should come to headquarters. Don't do it. Anytime you need to use the money for anything, maybe you say you are coming, you have gathered a lot of people for, for conference, you don't have enough money, and you need to use some of the money to transport the people right to us, or call the international director. Seek approval. Don't dip money into it, your hands into it, and use the money. Sometimes they use it and they don't even get back. It's in the course of my collation and consolidation of the reports that I discovered that this chapter has not made remittance. And when we now make inquiry, they say, sorry, I use it for this, I use it for it. It's not your money. Let's be faithful in the handling of this money. And talking about faithfulness, let's be faithful so that there should be no falsification of records. 
because it is also observed that some people, in fact, coordinators, some coordinators, not all, they don't know what is going on about this remittance. It's what they leave it entirely to subordinate. They don't understand it at all. Wrong figures are sent. Wrong figures are calculated. They don't know at all until we raise the matter from here. For instance, a, a state was sending few huge figures for projects. Huge figures for projects. Uh -uh. We're looking at this, this state. So when did they start to have money like this? It means God is blessing them. I showed that. He said, Daddy, look at what is happening here. He said, I should write. When I wrote, although I've not gone back to Daddy to discuss, because I will, after the conference, I'll be able to discuss some of the feedback I'm getting. We discovered that. That state, the money reflecting was not correct. It was, it was it, the, the person doing it was just adding money together. January will add to February and give it to February. March, it will add January, what coming in January, February, March, and add it. The thing was just growing, 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 and giving the impression that God is really blessing this chapter. Some people, some of them too, they give wrong figure deliberately. They cut down what has come in. For some also, instead of covering the whole, because when you say, for instance, a state, you are sending your remittance report. A st the state is sending report for the whole state. So if we say tithe and offering, it's not just the percentage that comes to the state, no. It's not just the percentage that is generated at the state headquarters, no. We are talking of total inflow of tithe and offering in the whole state, in every unit, in every chapter, in every region, in the state, all added together consolidated, then you get the figure for the state. That is how it is. That is the approach. But we discover that some of them, maybe they don't understand, or maybe they are trying to, we don't know what is happening. But it should not be so. Please, let's be faithful like Moses. Moses' Bible says in Hebrews 3, 5, and Moses was very, he was faithful in all his house as a servant for a testimony of those things which are to be spoken after. Let it be spoken after you like that also, that you are faithful in everything you are doing. So all these things, statistical information, they are very important. We use them to do so many things here. This monthly remittance report you send, nations, chapters, um, uh, zones in America. We, when we receive these reports, we collate them, we analyze them, we interpret them. I prepare a consolidated report and take to the international director. They provide management information for guidance and planning purposes. Sometimes when we want to cut out to you as a chapter, as a nation, what you are to bring for this or that or that, we use these things because it helps us. It also helps us to know where they are financially weak and they need help. Then where they are financially strong and they need to be encouraged. It also helps us sometimes to know, okay, this place, this chapter is weak, this one is strong, and this weak chapter, they have this project, they need to be supported. Okay, you chapter here, or a group of chapter in this region, pass certain percentage of remittance to help this particular chapter. We do a lot of things with this, but if we don't have the correct statistics, we will be, whatever we are interpreting will be wrong, because it will be garbaging, and garbage out. So we are telling you this so that please, it will be good that you understand this thing. So calculate your percentages right and make your figures complete to cover the whole state. It's very helpful. Under tithe and offering, the column is only figures for tithe and offering. The other column, the, the first column you get is projects. That column for project means other inflows apart from tithe and offering. It's on tithe and offering you pay your percentage remittance. For project inflow, it could be, for instance, money that come in for conference, maybe transportation for conference, conference contribution, allocation which you have to pay to, or it could be books you sold, 
or some other thing or donation for your building projects, all those all of them will come under inflow for projects, not tight and offering. So those ones we don't get any percentage allocation or remittance on that one. But for tight and offering, strictly tight and offering, that's the one you pay your 30% or whatever percentage on. Please let us be guided. And like I said also, timeless, timeliness in, 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 rem, in rendition of this report. For instance, the monthly remittance report, the deadline is 10th of the next month, the succeeding month. This is October. At the end of October, we expect the report for the month of October to get to us here latest by the 10th of November. But we see that some places until you follow up and follow up and first some coordinator will tell you they are busy they are busy in crusade they are busy here but whatever happens yes thank god that we are busy but all the same you must also observe standard we too here we are not sleeping we are busy also but we remember these things i want to do it in a timely manner send this to even zoom attendance report Ordinary Zoom attendance report to send. Many people, they will not send. Many nations and chapters, they will not send. We have to follow up. The time we are using to follow up, we could have used it to do many other things easily. Please help us so that we can serve you better. And God will help you as you do so in Jesus' name. On finance, I want you to understand that the international headquarters is your Jerusalem. This place is your Jerusalem. It is the head. And the head must be treated specially. The head must be treated with respect and recognition. I'm saying this because, yes, in your various locations, you have projects. We know. You are buying land. You are building this. You are acquiring this equipment and so on. You want to expand, which is good. It's part of what we discussed yesterday on church growth and administration. We encourage it. Sometimes, too, even from here, we support. It is good. But let us also understand this. International headquarters, being your Jerusalem, being the head, should take the highest priority in terms of contribution, in terms of support. Is it like that? Is it like that? You don't understand? Should it be so? Is your chapter more important than international headquarters? Exactly. Because it is here, this is the citadel of the administration of Horimo. This is where, from where things flow down to other locations. Because if you put 10 million here, I'm just using as an example, what it will yield here, the kind of spiral effect it will have all over, reverberating all over the world, will be far greater than if you put it in your state, for instance. Because whatever you are doing will be limited to your state. But whatever 10 million naira we do here, we spread to Africa, we spread to Europe, we spread to America, and all over the world. And that's why you must see it as priority. How you can support these international headquarters very well. Some of you are doing it, and we appreciate it. We say thank you. May the Lord thank you and bless you. Please continue. Now, we also want to emphasize that we try to put some things in place to make sure, to ensure that things go on well and seamlessly and to help the righteousness of people, both leaders and those that are not leaders. I'm referring to the vetting committees that we set up every chapter, state chapter, national chapter, they all have vetting committees. These vetting committees, they are a check and balances on the, on the chapter or the nation, whichever it is, is to ensure that we promote transparency and accountability and integrity of records in these places because they are, I think we have them four, a chairman, secretary, 
then two members, making four. That's how we constitute it all over. If you have any chapter here, any state, any, any state or nation that does not have a vetting committee in place, which we constituted some time ago, please let us know. Because I understand, Pastor was telling me just this week that there is a place, although I will make inquiry, that they don't have it in place. It shouldn't be so. And we want to also say that in spite of the presence of the vetting committee, who are there to assist and help and support the state coordinator or whoever is the head, the coordinators remain the chief accounting officers of their chapters, uh, but they must allow the vetting committees to work. They should not intimidate them. They should not stifle their operations. They should not, because each one has his own assigned role, and that's how we want it to be. They are not there for fun, and we don't expect vetting committee to be at loggerheads. There should not be no struggle or battle with the state coordinator, no. Rather, we expect you to complement each other, support each other, work in cooperation with each other to produce good results. It's a, something we put in place for good, for beauty, for heaven's sake. Let us not allow Satan to come in and turn it into something else. It's very important. Both of you should respect, the committee respect the position of the state coordinator. State coordinator respect what the voting committee too is doing and we believe it will work out well so that we can have collaboration for effectiveness in Jesus' name. We expect the vetting committee to meet at once in a week. But not necessarily physically. You can meet by Zoom. Thank God Zoom is available now. You can meet by Zoom. You are to meet to, do, to make sure that you review transactions. You get update on them. You approve because there are some things, expenditure you need to approve. You do all this together so that you are on top of the finances of the chapter. And certain expenditure, the, 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 the coordinator cannot embark on it without your own vetting. You are not the approver. You are vetting. The final approver is still the coordinator. But you are vetting. You have to vet. They want to buy some, maybe you are building, and they want to buy building material or whatever, vetting committee, they are going to cross-check the price in the market. Is it reasonable? Should it be so? Or this thing you even want to buy, is it necessary? Do we actually need it? Should the money not go to this place? They have to look at all these things. That's why they need to meet regularly. So please, let us bear this in mind. Now, I need to also to talk about impressed. There's something we call impressed account. Impressed account is a small amount of money that is given which can be used for daily operations without necessarily going to the bank every day to draw money. You want to buy biro, you want to buy recharge card, you want to fire a car and things like that. We want to say that this impressed account has to be used judiciously, carefully, and not abused in the sense that there should be no multi multiplicity of impressed because we have seen situations whereby we have about even drivers have impressed. We have seen a situation like that, that even the driver has impressed, coordinator has impressed, admin has impressed, driver has impressed, accountants has impressed, four of them running impressed account, and each one collects each month and they, they will be spending it, it should not be so. And we are saying, let it be maximum two. Maybe one coordinator, it can be managed for him by the admin, then the accountant, who attends to people generally. But we also need to let you know that this impressed must be retired before a new one. I think 13 committee members are here, right? Are you here? You are not here? Very good. So this impressed must be retired before a new one is collected. And impress is not expense. It's a cash advance. It's a petty cash. 
It's an advantage because when you are giving it, you don't know what specifically it will be used for. But retirement means whoever collects an impress, before it comes to collect another one, may us fill the expense voucher, listing, detailing how that impress collected was spent. Retire it. If there is any balance to return, return it. Then you take a fresh one. Until that is done, where receipts need to be attached, attach it. Until that is done, you cannot give out another impressed. And let us also say that all transactions must pass through the bank. Make sure your transactions, in fact, every state, every state and nation should have a bank account. Every state and nation, they should have bank accounts. Yes. Chapters, some chapters, if they are actually big enough, but generally what we recommend or want is that the state should warehouse money for the chapters and units because we don't want people to keep money on their, anybody to keep, this one you keep money in private hands, it's not okay. Because when money is in private hand, Satan takes advantage of it. That's when trouble will come. And to solve that problem is money. And the money you use is the one in your hand. And the money in your hand belongs to God. And once you use it, it has affected your righteousness. So we don't want that. To help people, to help our members dealing with this thing, we say, take all money to the bank. If you are not, you don't have bank account like this, you need, because your money is small and things like that, pass your money to the state. The state, we have designed a, re a, 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 a record book where you are to keep record of money collected on behalf of units and chapters. And it works perfectly. People do, some chapters doing it is working seamlessly without any problem. And all your units, you have record, you have their, they will be listed there. And their record will be entered. And the coordinator is not to touch their money. They are not to, the money is not his own. It's for them because there is a reason why they are keeping this money. Maybe they want to buy land, they want to do this, they want to do that. Or when they are coming for, or there is a program like that, sometimes they take part of the money for transportation or contribution for their own program there. Maybe women conference, this conference, youth conference, that conference. They may need to, part of the money to finance it. So we don't want, because if coordinators start to touch the money, those people that are contributing units and chapter will be discouraged. So if we take it there now, they will spend it. If we take it there now, they will spend it. So let there be, this thing is based on mutual trust. It's very important. And we want to say also that bank accounts, every bank account opened, the international director, Pastor Porica, his name should be there as a principal signatory who is to sign a loan. Now, after him, that way, the international director, right, because all banks in Nigeria, for instance, are on network. So right here, he can go to any of the banks, because they are all here in Abuja. Whatever transaction we need to do on that account, because it belongs to Horimo, and Horimo is one. Only that we have branches here and there, but it's one. And the international director is one. Sometimes, why this is also important is that sometimes we find situations where a coordinator leaves abruptly. Or some members, he may go with some people, and you have nobody to sign on the account again. There are instances like that that we have to abandon the account and go and open a new one. But with this arrangement, if the international director is a sole signature who can sign a loan, he can change signature from right in Abuja on any account. This is the standard. Please, coordinators, if you have not adopted this, you have to adopt it. Go and do a change of mandate. It's very important. And after him, there should be three other signatories from the chapter. One of them will be the state coordinator. Then the remaining two, let the vetting committee choose which other two people should join him. And the mandate for signing should be any two to sign. That is, it can be state coordinator and any of the other two, or any of the other two without the state coordinator. In case the state coordinator is not around, whatever. So that should be the signing arrangement. 
so that things can run seamlessly and perfectly in Jesus' name. And we want to say also that, please, on no account should you incur debt without the approval of the international director. And coordinators should not be lending money to themselves. Please, don't borrow money for yourself. You have somebody here you report to as head. Get to him whatever you need. It's accessible, you know it. If he's busy, he's not picking call, send him a message. Or contact me. Whatever may people call me, this, I, whatever comes, I take it to him. I know when he will be available and I take it to him. I will get back to you. Please, don't borrow money for yourself without approval. Then, suppose somebody wants to borrow money from, the member wants to borrow money. This one, handle it with discretion. Appropriate, you have your seven-man committee in place. Make sure certain decisions are a collective decision. And in some cases, you may need to escalate to the international director for proper guidance. And generally, we don't lend money for people to do business. Generally, we don't lend money for people to do business. Although, we also have a scheme in place, which Daddy has told me that we are likely to resume soon, whereby we were doing uh, um, what we call empowerment, empowerment loan. We are giving empowerment loan to some category of leaders. And we stopped it at a time because of the paucity of funds. Money was not coming in so much. And also because there was abuse. But we are going to look at it again and tinker with some things and see how we can re resume it. So, but generally, like I said, money should not be lent to members to do business. Thank you very much and God bless you all. Let's rise up and appreciate God. Let's rise up and appreciate God for what he has done in our midst, for the way he's teaching us, he's leading us and guiding us. Let's bless his name. God is faithful. God is helping us, pushing this ministry ahead. We are getting to places and we'll continue to do more. Because the Lord is with us. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. Thank you, Jesus. We are happy. We are joyful. Receive our thanks. Receive our worship. Receive our adoration, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray.